Time now for a Latitudes and Attitudes look at a new cruising boat. One of the most enjoyable parts of our job is reviewing new boats. And though it's hard to complain on such a beautiful day, it is a little frustrating to line up a test sail only to have the wind be a no-show. Such was the case of our review of the brand new Catalina 355. It was a real nice day as we left the dock in Marina del Rey, California. Our test sail crew included our host and technical editor Susanna Prokoska, the boat's designer and vice president of engineering for Catalina Yachts, Gary Douglas, and broker Tim Brow of Catalina Yacht Anchorage. Once out on the ocean with the standard 135 Genoa unfurl, the wind finally showed, albeit a meager five knots. Not surprisingly, however, this new design from Catalina Yachts ghosted along nicely. Our crew was able to tack this 13,800 pound and nearly 36 foot cruiser this easily. Very impressive. In light of the conditions, we brought out the loose luff Jennifer with continuous furler on the retractable bowsprit in an effort to try and liven things up, which it did until the wind decided to hide for the rest of the day. Still, it made for a real pretty scene under sail. We decided to head for the harbor to finish the review with the standard 29 horsepower Yanmar pushing the boat easily through the channel at close to six knots. Back in the slip, we began to admire the 355's handsome lines. Based on the bigger award-winning Catalina 445, customers had asked for the company to build a smaller and more affordable version. The result is the award-winning Boat of the Year design. Similar to the 355's larger sibling, she carries a relatively low coach roof and somewhat narrower beam to achieve not only great looks, but spirited sailing characteristics. As with all Catalinas, the 355 features a tremendous amount of built-in quality and designed-in ergonomics. This is particularly evident in the cockpit, where a large crew can relax while sailing and not get in each other's way. Chief Designer Douglas pointed out some of the boat's impressive ergonomic features. We put the secondary instruments outboard on these pads so the helmsman can see them, which let us put one lower guard in the center so even a person of modest height can easily see over the boat and have a clear view of the stem fitting, which is really important when you're docking the boat. In other words, you never have to duck the backstay when moving across the boat. So helmsman can get a full, a full revolution with a 12 inch winch handle without leaving the helm position. Concealed lifeline gates. Solid teak wood. And it's big enough to seat two people on each side for a meal. The center compartment is insulated, so it'll hold ice for a couple of hours. This has the cruising spinnaker bowsprit option. The sprit is removable and stows inside the anchor locker when you're not using it. This boat also has a collision bulkhead right about here. And then below the collision bulkhead is a high density foam filled uh, impact zone. Very large anchor well can be divided. There are two rollers standard and an intermediate bollard, so you always get a fair lead to the windlass. This has a rope bollard and a chain gypsy and a fair lead roller to lead the chain down below, power up and power down. The teak companionway doors, it's a bifold door, and it stows outboard, but it's also easily removable if you wish to remove the whole door set. So if you're going offshore and want traditional washboards, traditional washboards are working with the addition of uh, retainers on both sides that are available from the factory. So it's really versatile. You can set it up. Most of the time you're not going to need those, but if you do want them for offshore, we can easily accommodate them. Down below, the new 355 has the typical spaciousness and comfortable living space Catalina are famous for. The interior boasts more features that Jerry Douglas was proud to point out. Translucent privacy screens over the, trans over the ports in the hull. This area can uh, be lowered to make a straight settee. We provide all the cushions standard. Here, it's the low point of the water system. You see that one valve with the hose attached to it? Yeah. So you open that valve and the entire fresh water system will drain into the bilge. Important thing for people who winterize their boats in cold climates. Nav station 
and a storage unit aft of the nav station. This can either be safety gear, very deep lockers, or additional galley storage. Below is a Tenda Flex folder file drawer for owner's manual and ship's papers. All the drawers are on ball bearing drawer guides. The nav station is set up so that there's a, a, a compartment for a laptop computer and there are accesses to uh, AC power, DC power, and the main navigation bus. Very complete electrical panel. Uh, this table is unique in that it's uh, uh, called a quad fold table and that it opens up and rotates to make a large dining table or lowers to make a berth. Again, the cushions to make a berth are standard. Jerry also showed off the large L-shaped galley. A couple unique things in the galley. Um, the stove has a top that retracts so that you can have extra counter space in the galley. Um, lots of lockers. Microwave is standard. Dedicated plate locker. Cutting board for over one side of the sink. sprayer. Um, the, the refrigerator is very unique and it's both top loading here with a light and a dedicated freezer compartment and then an, another access area here the, to the lower inboard end of the refrigerator. Forward past the main cabin with the flat screen TV is the owner's stateroom. Here features include a dressing seat and desk, opening port lights and a large overhead hatch plus a comfortable inner spring mattress. Under the berth is a deep storage compartment with two more large drawers under that. And the mattress raises and lowers to provide a good reading angle. To starboard is a nicely finished hanging locker. The easy to maintain single head features a vacuum flush toilet, a contemporary raised sink which makes for more counter space, and an integral shower with seat. This is also where you'll find convenient access to the boat's filters. Or if there's a spill, it's not going to it's not going to be a disaster. It's pretty easy to clean up because it's right in the shower. Just after the galley is the entrance to the guest stateroom, featuring a hanging locker, opening port lights, and overhead hatch, and like the owner's berth, an inner spring mattress. There are, of course, a ton of additional great features, including many you can't even see, that make this new Catalina 355 a great mid-size cruising boat. And if the feedback from new owners is anything to go by, it looks like Catalina may have another instant classic on their hands. In addition to the full line of Catalina yachts, you'll find a lot more information on this award-winning 35 and a half footer at CatalinaYachts.com.